Don't lie on your resume. Just remember to also wear black socks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Rodrigo? Yeah, well, you don't want your feet smell. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, Rodrigo? <laughs> so auditioning for a show can be scary, but with a few helpful tips from some of our professors and fellow EMU students, you'll be sure to walk into that audition with some confidence and feel prepared. I am here with one of the most talented and respected actors here at EMU Theater, Mr. Derek Rich. He's been in over 13 shows. And Derek, can you give us some helpful tips on how to have a very successful audition? Absolutely. Uh, one tip I'd like to recommend is don't look at the actual auditioners or the director. Um, it kind of freaks them out. So instead, pick a focal point and you can just do your monologues from there. Pick a focal point. Pick a focal point, Good. yes. And then, as such. Number two. I'd recommend don't wear sneakers. I learned that my freshman year. Yes. Yeah, wear nice dress shoes. So something like this. So when you walk on that stage to impress those directors, this is an idea of something that you should wear. This is what you should not wear to an audition. Hi! My final tip, always go in confident. Because sometimes you really want to impress the people that you're auditioning for. You know what? Might as well leave them off on a good impression. Being confident. Exactly. Terry, what is your number one tip for having a successful audition? My number one tip for having a successful audition is to have a really strong moment before. You've got a story to tell, you know where it starts, you know why you're telling the story, you know who you're supposed to be connecting with and why, you know how it ends. Get grounded in your first moment and go for it. Awesome! Yay! <laughs> Lee, what is your biggest pet peeve during an audition? Um, people who open their mouths and shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Cruz, what's your biggest pet peeve during an audition? People who are tone deaf, but then they look at the piano player as if it's his problem. When you go in for an audition, um, some of the directors, as you know, might ask you to do a scene with someone you have no idea who they are, and you might have to be like madly in love with them. The important thing is, though it is awkward, that you must commit to it fully, leave your nerves at the door, and just go with it. Matthew, Julie. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Julie! It's important to commit fully to the scene. <laughs> Vicki Morgan, what is your number one do and number one don't of a successful audition? Number one do. Well, okay, and <clears throat> Robert, <coughs> be prepared. Be prepared. If they ask you for three things, bring in multiple spins. So bring in five. If they ask bring you for three, bring in five. If bring they in want six. you to do a comedic monologue, make sure you have one in your back pocket as well. Um, so I, I heard about this audition, and I'm sorry, I just walked in. Like I don't really have anything prepared, but um, so what do you want me to do? You want me to do a monologue? But I don't have a monologue. Well, I'm just gonna go then. I love you. <laughs> be yourself. And by that, what I mean is when you walk in the door for your audition, is be who you are as a person. Don't be the character you're acting in your monologue. Uh, a director wants to see someone that they can work with, um, someone that can adapt and grow with the play itself. So they want to see someone that they can have fun with and enjoy working with throughout the process of the play. So be yourself, show your personality, have humor, don't be a robot, and then show them that you can be someone else in your monologue than who you are in real life. Yeah, yeah. That's the scene, everybody. I, I'm sorry. Are you doing the silent treatment? What? Are you doing the silent treatment? That's awesome. Congratulations. You You've done everything else every thinking? other girl has ever done. Rodrigo, I Ro told you so many times. Don't patronize. Me. My name is not Rodrigo. It is Roger. He doesn't even know. Roger. Oh, Why do you always want to call it Rodrigo? Rodrigo. Because it sounds better. Oh, because.
No, 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 no,